G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Today we're doing a bit of urban fishing, suburban bass fishing. Gonna try and track down a few natives smack bang in the middle of suburbia. I'm fishing Scrubby Creek. Uh, it's one of the main creeks that flows through Logan City, south side of Brisbane. So it's, uh, you know, it's probably full of tilapia and carp these days. Um, I used to fish it when I was a young fella, getting spangled perch and stuff, but I haven't been here for, yeah, decades, so. Yeah, keen to see if we can't get a few natives. A mate of mine's young fella reckons he got a nice bass out of here recently, so I thought I'd give it a look, see if I can't get a couple. Just gonna start off throwing a TN60. It's an awesome little search bait. Cover water fast. Bait fish profile so everything wants to eat it. Should be able to figure out if there's any fish about. Oh, whacked. Dead sad, got belted. <laughs> That's awesome, that didn't take long. Hope you get a better shot in there. Oi bloke. No, oh, trying to catch a fish. Yeah, right. How'd you go? Yeah, right. Off the top, nice. Yeah, sick. You know, I just started down the other end. I'm just walking along the bank on the opposite side. On that burnt tree side, yeah. I just got hit running along, running a jack along the edge of the bank, so. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely fish in here then. Yeah, sweet. I'm gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna go from here and then I'm gonna go up to the bridge where you were. Yeah, sweet. Well, I'm parked up in that park. My white cruise is right there. And like I said, I'm just gonna work this shade side and then cut back around and start heading up to that bridge, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, well, that's why I've just come across to the shady side straight away, so. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Sweet, dude. See you, mate. Bye. There's me, mate. Brendan Fleming. He was uh, down here earlier. I was gonna meet up with him, but I got major traffic dropping the kids to school and didn't get here on time. So he bailed. He got one fish though, a bit further up from here, so. That's pretty cool. Bloody suburban fishing, all right. Park ground, power lines, council workers. She's definitely not as picturesque and Secluded as some of the spots I fish. Yes, yeah, there we go. There's a bass. Is there a bass? He's trying to stitch me up. He's in there. That's a bass. That is a solid bass. Yes. That's oh, that's sick, man. Yeah, he's a good bass. Where am I going to land this guy? Come off that, lay down there on the TN60. There you go, suburban bass. Middle of Scrubby Creek. There you go. That's an awesome fish. So my theory is here, I reckon these fish have come in the 2010, 11, the 15 floods, out of the Logan River, all the stock fish up the top there, made their way into this little system and that's awesome just ate that tn60 that's an awesome search bait i can fish it tight it comes over brush pretty good and keep it moving cover water look at that that's a <laughs> that is a fat bass there we go first fish of the session just fishing that tn60 they love them man it's so easy to fish i can power fish it and cover ground fish eat them i've noticed this fish has got a tag on the back side of me it's covered in algae it's like an old tag but I've got a good feeling that that's going to prove this fish come out of the Logan, you know, many years back in those big floods. It's washed down here into Scrubby Creek, you know, middle of suburbia. Look at that. That is a healthy bass. All right, I'm going to get it back. All right, it's tag number is T42126.
All right, got my first fish of the session. Suburban bass. That was the uh, that was the game plan. It's paid off. Like I said, I got to thank Milan's young fella for the uh, for the heads up. But that's so cool. You know, places like this, there'd be thousands of kids in this local area that could walk or ride to this joint and catch good bass. Like that's the idea of this vlog is get more young people fishing. Like I've told you where I am. I'm at Scrubby Creek. Get out here, catch a bass. Let them go, obviously, but get out here, enjoy it. This is sick. Oh, this is crazy cool, like really cool. I know, I love my bass too much. There you go, that's the bait. TN60, Rattler. Kills it. All right, I reckon there's another one in there. Let's find out, eh? It was the prime location. Decent snag in the shade. Oh, a bit of a stick. That's what he hit off before, it popped over that stick and then he crunched it. I used to come down here when I was 10, 11, 12, 13, catch 50 spangle perch on live worms, just one after the other. Never saw a bass. Never looked like seeing a bass. Yes, oh! What happened there? I dead set got like an ant or something in my goddamn pants. Hey, something's going on here. Ant in my pants. Hey! What are you doing? What's up? I just got a cracker, eh? Yeah, man. Good one. As we made Brendan. We meant to meet here earlier, but traffic and plans didn't quite eventuate, but he's come back down. We're going to pepper this pool. There's another bit of water further upstream I want to try. Should be good. We've got the makings of a good session here. He was down here this morning. He got one on surface. Chucking a bent minnow. How are you, man? Good yourself. Bass in here, eh? Yeah, got a nice one up under that bridge, but that was about it. A few follows, but... Yeah, nice. Just couldn't get another. Just all on top water, eh? Yeah, top water's pretty shallow up there. Yep. Yeah, that guy just hit me off of that little log jam. Little snag pile back here oh, I just did. yeah good one like 40s yeah yeah and tag too had a tag in it so yeah, joe i've never caught a tag fish i reckon there's a bloody good chance it'll say it was tagged in the upper logan yeah and it would have come down in that 2015 floods because i like I, used to, I grew up here man i used to fish around the corner there on this log when i was like this high mm. spangle perch all day the odd carp never saw a bass i reckon since they've been stocking the upper reaches and the floods that's how they got in here, eh? It's a fair hike. Yeah, well, I've got a tag fish now. It'll be uh, interesting to see where he come from. Yeah, yeah. The day was the day. It's got to be something off of that tree, eh? I'm just going to go down here and catch this bass. Yeah, oh! Belted off the back of that thing. I'll put a jig in there. That's jig worthy, that. Just got belted off the back of that snag over there and thought to myself that is jig worthy. Gonna go the old favorite, 3 8 ounce motion. Pros factory. Got crabby trailer. To see him miss the bait. Hopefully he comes back and has a play. I thought he had it. Nah, I think it was just falling off a stick. I was trigger happy, man. Yeah, it's falling off of a drop off or something. Is 
That was crazy, man. He was right in that tight shit, eh? Yeah, there's heaps of sticks down there. I'm having a crack with the jig. Definitely looks like it should work. All right, Council's built these little jetties, little docks. Obviously for people to use, but I reckon the fish are gonna be using them more. I reckon. Yeah, that's fucking. That's the wrong tree to land. And I reckon the jig in there should. should go a treat. Flipping docks. Man, there is some crap in there. Pitching docks, man. Full yank mode. Just need a solid eat. So many twigs down there, eh? That's the beauty of the jig, eh? Like, you can just bring it over all that. There's so much cool looking structure here, eh? It's too hot out here, bro. All right, got one fish so far. Had another bump there. Probably another tap, wasn't sure. Just making a move, gonna go hit this bridge up here. It's just one of the road crossings, one of the main main bridges over the creek here. So it's where um, Brendan got his bass this morning on the bed, you know. But uh, yeah, we'll go and have a flick in the shade. See if there's anything kicking around. Suburban fishing. Yeah, man, suburban bass fishing at its finest. Yeah, all right. It is shallowish, isn't it? Yeah, he's very shallow, man. Like, still smacked Yeah! Dude! <laughs> he's stitching you. Oh, look at him out there. <laughs> That's sick, man. Is this a bass or what? He's a good bass, is he? Oh, how did you get him back oh, around I don't know there? How that happened, Mike. <laughs> Yeah man, that is awesome. There you go. Another cracking suburban bass. Look at that guy. He's a chunk. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. What do you call him? No beetle blade, beetle spin. Beetle spin man. That's a cracker. Hey man. <laughs> That's mad. Around the pylons, had you stitched up. I had thought I was never getting him around that pole. He's a fat bass. <laughs> That's sick man. Awesome. You're dead set, wouldn't have thought. Middle of bloody Logan City. <laughs> and there's cracking bass. How's the serenity? <laughs> <laughs> if you listen closely, you can almost hear the sounds of nature. You would think that side would be deeper. Let's head over there, eh? Isn't that a footbridge there? Yeah. Yeah, stuff going around that way. Oh, she's pretty bloody dingy. It's a scum fest, isn't it? A little deeper, but not by much. Oh, look at that fish boil up. That was on my bait. Was it? Yep. He hit it, turned away or something. He went tap, tap, and then that big boil. Oh, man. I saw that. It didn't make sense that there'd be something here. Like, if that's where water comes in, yeah. throw your bait through there, see if he wants to eat it. Oh, <laughs> I saw it, I caught that too. Or it was a little bat, I don't know. I only got a glimpse of it. Yeah, oh, that's a bass, man. He's a good bass, he wants that. I reckon I got that on film too. How did he not get a hook in him? 
couple hits and I don't want to play. Oh, dude. How do you not eat that? I think they've wised up, man. See if we can find a nice, peaceful, fucking quiet place. <sighs> Which kid lost their scooter? <laughs> Some kid lost his scooter. I'm rocking the suburbs, just like bon John Bon Jovi did. I'm rocking the suburbs. Except that he was talented. Yeah, there's gotta be a bass here, man. Jigo chatter, jigo chatter. Oh, you're gonna get railed, surely. Oh, belted. Already? Yeah, man, legit. Tiny one, though. Tap, tap. Man, that comes through the thickest of the timber down there. As soon as you said that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it comes through everything else and it hit a little twiggy there. Ah, mine popped, yeah. At least I got my two foot of 10 pound leader still. Man, it's hot, 30 something degrees, 37 something. Making a move, we've got a couple of fish under that bridge. Oh, we got one, couple of hits, couple of boiled up, chased some baits down and um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Pretty gross, but pretty cool. Suburban bass, terrain at its finest, bridges. Anyway, we're gonna go have another look further up the system, so we'll be up there and I'll come back to you in a sec. It's not overly dirty, there's bloody lilies and grass. Whew. I doubt they're going to be sitting out in the middle. Yeah, I reckon we got to go that way and have a look, eh? Really? Yes, dude. Where did I put that? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, man. Don't rush him, get this guy in. <laughs> yes, dude. Can we hold your rod? Yeah, mate. Oh. oh. Dude. Oh, 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 man. That is madness. <laughs> Another good one. He smacked me right on this edge here, eh? In the shade. We said it. you got to be hitting that shade. Yeah. Look at the size of that thing. On the beetle spin again, eh? Yeah, on the beetle spin. Wow. Yes, nice dude. That's awesome. Scrubby Creek. Yeah, bumped it and then just came straight back. Couldn't even say he bumped it and he took a little chunk there. Yes, man. Give me one of these. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> that's, the, that's the guy. That's what we're here for. That's sick. Suburban bass at its finest, bro. <laughs> Look at this. Like, there's industrial factories and shit over here. There's a bloody motorway right here. And there's big bass right here. Oh, big water dragon. Surely if I can get in there, there's a fish. Even the weed's healthy. Foxtail stuff, Ambulia. Oh, I've seriously got to stand in the shade, eh? I need shade. Man, it is stinking hot. Brendan has got another cracking bass on the beetle spin. The main drag's right there. There's bloody industrial buildings there. Like this is proper suburban bass fishing and I am so surprised at the quality of fish and the calibre and how many's here, like, it's epic. It's it's seriously so cool. All right, we're gonna make one more move. It's one o'clock, so like middle of the day, just purely hitting shade pockets. Um, yeah, that's where that last one came out of. And another hit in the same sort of shady stuff, so 
Just trying to pick it apart and make the most of it. Be a tilapia more, wouldn't it? Tilapia. Have a shot at it, just roll your thing near him. Oh, he's seen us. Yeah, he's spooked. <laughs> yeah, they'd be tilapia, eh? Tilapia. Yep. Yep, they're all tillies. Few of them there, eh? Oh, well, let's get another bass and be done with it. Dude, it is flaming hot, eh? I'm just looking for shade I can stand in and cast out of. <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit it so it looks like you only get one fish as well. <laughs> That's what I do, man. I edit it to make me look good. <laughs> That's how come it looks like Dickers never catches a fish, man. You reckon that's someone's fishing stick? I reckon it might It be. is, eh? You would think so. I would think they'd be more here for carp and tilapia, but shit, if they're fishing for fish to eat, they get a bass, they're not going to let it go. Right, this is our last spot, last chance. Look at this creek. Deep, weedy, shady, snaggy. It's got everything. There's a ton of tilapia, as you'd expect, but the bass, there have been bass. Brendan's pointing something big out out here. Oh, is it a big gold one? Oh, I wonder if you'll pick that up out the back corner. There is a big gold fish. I don't know what that is, man. Here's a big goldie, he's out here. Oh, I'm gonna try to catch him. <laughs> he was just sitting on the edge of the weeds there. Let's get out of here. That was a mad little session. That's sick. All right. Call it quits. Good session, man. That was sick. Everyone, Brendan Fleming, bass killer. Uh, I'd like to think so. Nah. Killed me. That was cool. That was a good session. Suburban bass. There you go. That's that easy. Just, just chuck your lure in there. <laughs> How's the traffic? Bloody suburbia, mate. It's ridiculous. That's the end of the session. Um, yeah, that's suburban bass fishing. I dead set him as a surprise as I reckon you guys will be the caliber of bass we caught out of that dirty old creek smack bang in the middle of the suburbs. That was epic. I really enjoyed that. Fishing with Brendan Fleming, mate of mine. Um, yeah, bass nut, same sort of love of the bass that I have. He does a fair bit of fishing out uh, my way up in the natural creeks as well, so I might film a session with him out there sometime soon, but. Lucky he came along because he gave me a little touch up. Got a couple of these good fish on film, so yeah, it was well worthwhile. Yeah, man, that's that's pretty much it. Obviously, that creek's there for you guys to access. It's it's Scrubby Creek. It's the main creek. You can't miss it. It's 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 got bass. You know, treat them with respect. Catch and release. Let them go. Let them grow. All that stuff. Fish for the future. Um, I'll get the tag details on that guy. I'm telling you, I reckon he's been tagged way up the back of the Logan, and he's come down in the floods. But yeah, I'll throw all that together. That was a cool little vlog. I reckon that was, uh, that was, that was pretty fun to film and I think you'll have a bit of fun watching that one. So thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Catch you next time. <laughs>